Welcome to Blitz. I'm Brian Carter here at Banks County High School with Mike Cleveland, seventh year head coach of the Banks County Leopards. Uh, coach Cleveland, as always, really appreciate having you here on Blitz. Thank you, Brian. We always enjoy having you, and uh, thank you for uh, giving our, our program some publicity and, and uh, always enjoy your coverage. Uh, you guys make it really easy, and, and uh, in the midst of yet another fantastic season for you, I know there's a lot of work to do, but you're 14 and three overall, three and one within region play. Uh, how would you assess the season to this point? We've had a good season. I think we started out really strong, played a tough slate of, uh, of opponents up front, which I think makes us better. Uh, dropped a few here lately, one region game to Elbert and, and a game on the road at North Hall. And uh, we're going to use that as a as character builder, and, and uh, we're going to get back to work and work hard. And we've had a couple of really good days of practice, had a good win against Raven uh, at their place. So uh, I'm really pleased with it up to this point. Yeah. And so uh, expand a little more on the, the Elbert County game. I know not the result you wanted, but is there such thing as, as a good loss for your team and how you guys kind of respond to that? Well, you never want to drop a region game. Uh, Elbert County is a very good basketball team. They got their top eight guys back from last year. They're well coached. Uh, we played on the road down there, which is a tough place to play. Uh, but we can definitely learn from it. I think losses sometimes teach you more about your team than wins. And uh, so, you know, we, we broke down film and uh, we got to get back to some basics of playing inside out, first of all. And uh, so we're going to take it and, and try to, to use it to make us a better team down the road. So, uh, you know, uh, we're not going to harp on it for long, but, but we are going to use it to get better. And what was that like after, you know, and, and we'll get away from the losses here in a moment, but, you know, the next night you, you had to bounce back from that. You play North Hall, fall up short again. But was that kind of a wake-up call for the guys in the locker room and in practice? Absolutely. I, I hope so anyway. Um, you know, I just didn't play well that night, didn't respond well to the loss, shot the ball horrible. Um, and, you know, North Hall played hard. Uh, Tyler does a good job up there. So, again, another quality opponent. Uh, and that's a team we had beat pretty good a few weeks earlier. So definitely a wake-up call. We, and, again, after that, we came in and, on Sunday and had a very good practice, kind of got back to basics a little bit and, and another good practice Monday. And, like I said, got a, a good win at Raven on Tuesday. So uh, we're, we're going to try to get better from those losses. Yeah. And, and you guys get better from the get-go because what I love about the way that you put your schedule together, you don't shy away from stiff competition. Just some of your, your non-region opponents, West Hall, Hart County, East Hall. I mean, oh, my gosh, what can you say about them? And then, and then North Hall and the list goes on. Right. Um, you know, how, how much does that build up what you're trying to do here for this program? Well, I don't worry so much about wins and losses early as I do, um, you know, just trying to get better. And we feel like programs like – East Hall, Hart County, uh, th those guys really push you. Yeah. And uh, that's what I want early. And I, I think that makes us better late, if that makes sense. Yeah. So um, we're not going to shy away from competition. Yeah. And I know ultimately the goal for you this year has to be to get over that Sweet 16 hump. You guys have gotten there, I think, three years in a row. Is it three that's or right. four? Yeah, three years in a row. And you come so close. I mean, some, some really heartbreaking losses there. But it gets tough the deeper you get into the state playoffs. What is it going to take this year, you think, to, to get over that hump? We just got to keep working one game at a time, getting better. Uh, there's some things we can get better at. Um, shooting the ball is very important to us this year. We're actually shooting the ball a lot more than we have in the past. And, uh, you know, I, I think as, as we get better throughout this stretch and uh, if we shoot it well, I think we can play with anybody in the state in double A. Yeah. And, now, uh, you know, watching your team this year, I mean, every year seems like you lock and load with these so much talent on the floor. But it's, it's really awesome to see how Carl's kind of an X factor type. I mean, he can score from anywhere on the floor. Uh, and then you got, of course, you got Dylan Orr throwing down dunks, doing his thing. Gabe Martin uh, splashing from three point land out there. And then Darius Bonds with some incredible passes. What's it like having all these weapons out there? That has to make it really tough for other teams to stop you guys. I hope so. Uh, number one, just a great group of boys. Uh, I think that's the most important part of our team is just a good group of guys. And uh, they enjoy playing together. I think they play the right way, uh, joy to coach, and uh, it's fun. It really is. Uh, you know, nights where maybe Carl doesn't have it going, but Gabe does. Or, or, you know, uh, Dylan's not having a good game inside, but Carl goes in there and has a good game. We, we can kind of mix and match a little bit, and I think it makes us a tough matchup. Yeah, and, and also you don't have much of a drop off, if any, uh, when you have to go into your bench. So th there's a lot of coaches around here that would kill for for your situation because they basically might play seven guys or so like that. But uh, what can you say about how pleased you are with your bench? Bench has been very good. Uh, we got some young guys over there who, who's going to be really good basketball players. Uh, we, we've dealt with injury a little bit. Uh, Bosco Norman was out with a with an ankle injury, and, and sorry your pace, uh, collarbone come from football. Noah Riley had his appendix taken out a couple weeks ago. 
But when all those guys are healthy over there and you throw in the freshman, Dakota Orr, yeah. it's a good group of players over on the bench. So uh, r really pleased uh, with where we're at right now and the future also. And what's the plan for you guys to finish out? I know you would love to, to win out the rest of the way and, and take, uh, take control away from Melbourne County now that they kind of have a, a slight inside track right now. This region's tough. Uh, and got a bunch of good players, got a bunch of good coaches. And so we're, we're just focusing one game at a time. I say that to you all the time. But we are one game at a time, uh, try to take care of each opponent. And uh, we feel like it's still in our hands. Uh, you know, if we went out at the worst, we're tied with Elbert. Uh, so, um, you know, just one game at a time, trying to get better as a team, uh, trying to focus on that one opponent at a time and, and, and you know, play the way we're, we're capable of playing, I think we'll be okay. Yeah. One, one at a time, that's one a cliche, but man, it does work and you guys do it better than anybody. And Thanks. looking forward to seeing you guys make a deep run and, and we feel confident hopefully seeing you guys tear down, uh, cut down some net this year. Well, that'd be awesome. Uh, thank you for being here. Thanks, Coach.